Sauter Tutoring here. Um, we're looking at some problems from McMurray 6th edition, chapter 8, number 31. Uh, we have some different molecules, different functional groups, alkenes, alcohol, and alkyne, and we're asked to indicate what reagents are needed to affect these different transformations. If you haven't already, you probably want to get together a bunch of flashcards, some of which have this on the cover with an arrow for the product. Okay, so exactly like you see on the back, you want to have just the reagents. So that way you can uh, practice memorizing these reagents. Um, here, let's look at the functional groups. We have an alkene going to a trans diol. Okay. You need to pay attention to the stereochemistry here. This hydroxyl group is coming out. This hydroxyl group is going in. So, um, we're going to need to use a couple of steps here. We're going to add a peroxy acid. Peroxy acids make the, uh, alkene, um, the epoxide. They change the alkene to the epoxide. And then to open up this epoxide, we use acid in water. So that's normally written as H3O+. Plus. All right. So this would open up and form the uh, trans diol, like you see here. In this next problem, we have an alkene just going to an alcohol. There's just one OH here. So what we need to use here is um, H3O+. Plus, okay. Water and acid together will hydrate the alkene. This is a hydration. So this is an alkene to an alcohol. Okay, so become familiar with your functional groups and, and what reagents will react to those functional groups. Here we have an alcohol as a starting material, and it looks like we are doing an elimination reaction. We are removing the OH group here and the hydrogen here, and between these two carbons becomes a double bond. Okay, the way to do this um, is H2SO4 and uh, heat. Okay, I'll use a triangle to uh, represent heat or delta. Um, sometimes some textbooks use H plus here. Okay, it's H plus and heat. This is a dehydration reaction. So this is a way to transform alcohols to alkenes. In this reaction we have an alkyne, a carbon-carbon triple bond. And we're transforming this to a dihalide, where the two halogens are connected to the same carbon. Okay? It's a 1-1 one, one dihalide. Now, a lot of students get mixed up. Do we use Br2, or HBr? What, what's going on here? On the terminal carbon here on the very right, you can see how it changes from a CH to a CH3, we're adding two H's. On the middle carbon, we're adding two bromines. Okay, so two H's, two bromines, it comes from two equivalents of HBr, or excess HBr. In this next problem, we're going from an alkene to an alcohol. Okay, looks just like um, this transformation here, but if you look carefully, um, the more substituted carbon is right here, all right, and we are picking up a hydrogen, which I left off, via H here, okay, and the less substituted uh, carbon picks up the OH. So again, this is an alkane to an alcohol, functional group transformation. But the more substituted carbon does not get the OH. Uh, so this is an anti-Markovnikov addition. And what we want to use is a two-step sequence here. We want to use fluorine followed by um, hydrogen peroxide. Okay, and that will give us the um, 
less substituted alcohol. Uh, thanks for watching.